create and use a pump calculator instead of using a nozzle chart. Today we are going to use some pump formulas to make your own pump calculator to calculate GPM, nozzle number, PSI, horsepower, and pounds of impact force. Start by opening up a Google Sheet and rename it to Pump Calculator. Now click cell B2 and type nozzle, and tab over and put PSI, tab over and put GPM. Now click cell B5, enter GPM, tab over, PSI, tab over, nozzle. And finally click cell B8 and enter GPM, then nozzle, then PSI. Now we're going to enter the first three formulas into column D. So pick cell D3 under the GPM and enter the formula for GPM equals nozzle times square root of PSI over 4,000. Now select cell D6 under nozzle and enter the second formula. Okay, enter values again and yep, that looks like it's about the same, so. And then select cell D9 under PSI and enter the third formula. GPM times nozzle add the parentheses around them before and after and then type the caret symbol and a 2 for squaring them and then multiply by 4000. Okay add values and it looks like it's working. Now we're also going to do horsepower in pounds of force. The fourth formula underneath horsepower which is GPM times PSI over 1600. Okay, now do this for all three. Make sure you're selecting the GPM cell and the PSI cell each time because they change. Okay, and now type in the formula for, uh, it's the last formula for pounds uh, equals 0 0.0526 times GPM times the square root of PSI. Now it's often more useful to see these numbers in ounces, so you can multiply uh, the pounds times 16 to get the ounces. Okay, now I'll copy that down. Okay, now dress this up a bit. I like to um, change the background of the titles to gray. and bold and center them. Okay, and add some borders. Let's see, add borders to the three groups. Now change the background of the outputs. center the inputs and get rid of some of these decimal places. Uh, I think two is pretty good. Now you can change the inputs to see how they affect the outputs. Uh, so if you put a number four nozzle uh, times in a 500 PSI, it requires a 1.41 GPM. Okay, now what if you have a project where you have a 1 GPM pump and you want to run at 150 PSI, 
tip those in you will looks like you'll need about a number five it's a little over that so you can go down to the next one and you can actually enter one gpm and a five for the nozzle and it'll output what your pressure horsepower and force that you'll get for more useful tutorials such as this one please subscribe to the pump tech academy blog at www.pumptech.com